Welcome first graders. We're going to start our reading today with a quick review of the phonics sound that we learned yesterday. We have this sound in words like this. Okay? So, we have this sound. It is our phonics focus, the E and the A vowel team. Okay? That means they go together to make one sound. That is why they're underlined as well. My word here is lead. Can you say that with me? Lead. Now, the E-A often says the long E sound, E, but remember, it can also make the short E sound. Did you know that this word can actually be said two different ways because of this E-A vowel team? This can be the word lead, or if we use the short E sound, let's see what word it is. Led. Led. Lead is a type of mineral or what you use in a pencil to write on paper. So that is the two different sounds that the EA vowel team can make. The long E, E, or the short E. E. Okay? Now we're going to practice something new today. So, watch how I do this. When we have words that end in Y, if we have to add an ending like S or ED, we have to follow a rule. Ready? Here's my word. See what letter it ends with? It ends with Y. Okay? When we have an ending we want to add to a word that ends in Y, this is what we have to do. Watch this. Let's say I want to make this the word cries. Okay, so I want to add the ending S. I have to change the Y to an I, then add ES. Okay, there's one example. Maybe I have this word. <gasps> Puppy! Look what letter it ends with. I want it to be more than one puppy. I want it to say puppies. So, if you know, try to say it with me. Change the Y to an I. We add ES. Now my word is puppies. Okay? Good job. Let's try one more. Let's see if you can figure this one out by segmenting and blending. <clears throat> okay, this is the singular form of, do you know the word? Baby. Very good. Baby is my singular form. It means there's just one. Okay. If we want it to be more than one baby, we're going to have to, say it with me, change the Y to an I and add ES. Now our word is babies. This is a new rule that is kind of tricky sometimes, but it helps that our saying rhymes. We change the Y to an I and add ES. We'll continue practicing more of that this week. Now I'd like you to get your blue reading book. Okay, so pause me if you need to go grab it. And you're also going to need to find a page, so you probably need to pause me for that too. I am going to be on page 60, where I see this story. <gasps> you might recognize it, Cinderella. Okay, pause me if you need to. You're finding page 6060. Okay? If you have your book open to page 60, then you're ready to go with me. All right, we're going to read the story Cinderella together today. And Cinderella, you've probably heard about, and it's a fairy tale. Okay, fairy tales often have characters 
like uh, princes or princesses and a lot of the time have that happy ending or they might start with that ever popular phrase once upon a time. Let's see if this one does. Now if you've heard of Cinderella before and you kind of know the story, I want you to as you read think about what are things that are the same, what are things that are a little different than the Cinderella you might know. Let's get started. Here it is, once upon a time, in a far off land, over hills and past farms, lived a girl named Cinderella. Cindy, as she was called, was sweet and nice. Okay, so they call Cinderella Cindy in this story. Cindy had two sisters. Roz and Gert were not so sweet or nice. So her sisters are Roz and Gert. They were mean. They made Cindy sweep, mop, scrub, and dust all day. Hmm. <clears throat> Each year, the prince had a great ball at his castle. One day, a man came with a note. The prince asked the sisters to his ball. Maybe he will take me as his, maybe he will make me his wife, Gert clapped her hands. No, he will not. It will be me, Roz yelled. May I go as well, asked Cindy. No, cried her sisters. That rug needs beating. That's a chore they want her to do. Cindy watched Roz and Gert try on dresses. Red, green, white, pink. Such nice colors and the finest fabric stitched with the finest thread. All Cindy got was a dirty mop. So it's hard to see in my book, so hopefully you're following along. It's kind of hard to see their facial expressions here on the camera. So follow along in your book so that you can really get a good taste of these pictures and how people might be feeling. Cindy watched her sisters drive off. Where are they going? To the ball. <clears throat> she tried sweeping. She tried dusting. But she felt so sad. She hung her head and cried. Rap, tap, tap. Rap, tap, tap. A wise old woman came in. She patted Cindy's hand. I will help you go to the ball. But I cannot go in these rags. Cindy wailed. Just wait and see. I will show you. Snap! Cindy had a nice dress and glass slippers. Snap! Snap! Six mice turned into horses. Snap! 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 That pumpkin turned into a flashy coach. Coach is something you ride in that the horses pull. It is time to go, but be back by 12 o'clock. The chimes will ring. That will be the sign that everything will turn back. Okay, that's what the old lady said. She says, when you hear those chimes, you better head back because everything's going to turn back to the rags, the pumpkin will turn back, and those horses will turn back to mice. Cinderella went to the ball. She met the prince. They twirled and whirled in each other's arms all night. Then the chimes started clanging. Cindy gasped and ran fast. Keep reading along with me, you're doing a nice job. Wait, 
called the prince. Stop! He did not see where Cindy went. She had lost her glass slipper on the top step. There it is. It's very light here in my book, so make sure you follow along in yours, starting with back. Back at home, Cindy's sisters made her scrub, sweep, and mop. She no longer wore her fine dress. Cindy used her finger to draw a sad face in the dust at her feet. After she drew it, her tears fell into the dust. There's that E-A, making the E sound, T ears. Rap, tap, tap. It was the prince. So it was a knock at the door. Is this your glass slipper? He asked Roz. There she is, trying it on. She tried it. It did not fit. Then Gert tried it. It did not fit. But it did fit Cinderella. She and the prince married, and they lived happily ever after, which is also something we hear a lot in fairy tales. We hear that once upon a time, and we hear that characters live happily ever after. So, think about that. Was that Cinderella similar to what you remember it being, if you've heard the story before? Maybe there's some small similarities, and maybe there's some small differences. Thank you for reading with me. Go ahead, and we will be doing the rest of our activity on the story in Seesaw.